Um, so what happened to your computer this week? It died, man. I'm actually on it right now, yeah. but I don't know how long it's gonna last. Oh, you're on. So, you're on my old desktop right now. Yeah, but it might it might die in the middle of the recording. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's yeah. been working all day. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> so funny story. I uh, we're recording, by the way. I uh, so last week the um, you know the protests were happening, and Dara lives in the Chicago area, and do. And, and, and around when they kicked off. He just disappeared from the world, and I was like, "Dara's been shot in the face with the beam." Oh, I died. Yeah, Dara, <laughs> Dara's been shot in the face. Oh, actually, you want to turn your, your d- d- self down a little bit now? You're peeking a bit. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was like, "Dara's dead. The podcast is over." I try. I I I tried to uh you know message him a bunch of times, and then I started trying to replace you after I figured you were dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Too soon, man. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we didn't have anything last week, unfortunately. But uh, my phone died, so I couldn't even get to Nick. Yeah. Um, we had already missed the the day that we were supposed to record on, so I thought like by the time I get the new phone back and reach out to him, it'd be fine. But I should like email them or something. Yeah. And then my computer died, but hopefully it won't die today um i've been having some computer issues it just freezes restarts to a black screen i don't know what's going on and it was a computer i sent him a couple of years ago so, yeah. so it's kind of has my that been fault. two years yeah something like that anyway this this is what you're playing a uh, podcast from two field youtuber best friends who just want to talk about uh video games and stuff yeah um my name is nick i run a channel called he's bad games on youtube and twitch this is dara he runs a channel called ink eyes on youtube, YouTube. <laughs> not not twitching formerly yeah and uh i don't think i have any oh. ho- i have no housekeeping except this microphone is new so hopefully that's better congratulations yeah it's not I'm a good see it on the video the pop filter is not good on it um so i've been it met- sounds decent you're not hearing any pop 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 pops. No, no, no you good. sound pretty good in my ears. Yeah. All right, cool. Do you have any house? Do you have any housekeeping? Uh, might need a new computer. Oh yeah, but... that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Aside from that, no. <laughs> well, we don't have listeners or a Patreon yet, so I think you're going to be uh, having to deal with that for a little while. How's the podcast doing everywhere else? Have oh, you... I, I don't. I only have it on Spotify right now. I'm I'm going to look oh, into okay. getting it on everything. But okay, uh... okay. Um, so I, I do have a list of stories this week um, from the PS5 a reveal event that actually got canceled because of the uh, Black Lives Matter protest. They didn't, well, they didn't think um, it was the right time. Uh, Kojima might be working with Konami again, which is kind of weird on Silent which Hills. I don't even know the backstory to that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll look at it. To illuminate that for me too. And the Sonic movie is getting a sequel, and I just kind of want to talk about video game movies a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and, and this week, I know that you've been basically boned all week, and I only played Apex Legends this week, so I think this week we should talk about what we are looking forward to playing. Yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. I have one, actually. <laughs> all right. Let I'm me, excited uh, about it. Let me pull up this uh, Venture Beat article first about PlayStation 5. So this is a little bit of an older article because we're running off of last week's stuff, but all of this is still technically relevant. PlayStation 5 event confirmed. That was for June 4. It's now June 11th, and this is what to look forward to. Sony, oh, this is written by who? Uh, Jeff Grubb. That does not sound like a real name. At Adventure Beat. <laughs> Sony has finally given a date for when it plans to talk about the PlayStation 5. The company is preparing a look at... At the future of gaming, uh, time does not matter anymore. What we know about the PS5 so far is what's inside the system and a few other details like the Xbox Series X. The PS5 features AMD hardware. AMD is like killing it right now. They're getting yeah, all the you... contracts in gaming right now. Yeah. And all the big time... You remember when AMD was garbage? Yeah. Nobody wanted to get AMD graphics I had this for anything? terrible Vista system back, Windows Windows Vista system with an AMD card, and that thing was just like sputtering smoke all the time. Yeah. Um, Even though like their newest hardware would just be so subpar to everything else, you would look at graphs and everything, just they couldn't keep up with the technology. Yeah. Like, no, they, they were never to go to. When it came to processors, ever. AMD is or... so, like, I just built a machine, and I, like, I was like, I'm building it with a Ryzen, I guess. Like, it's not like the newest the Ryzen. Ryzen's been killing you. I think it's only, like, the 5. I can't remember, but the... It'll, it it'll... is Ryzen 5. Is, isn't that the latest one, actually? Maybe. No, maybe it's not a Ryzen 5. I don't have it turned on right now. I'll check it out later. Um, but basically, like, it's going to help me with, um, you know, actual streaming. Oh, with 7. Yeah. Yeah, 5, five is, what, is what I have, so I'm a little bit back. Yeah, I think five is like what a year and a half old, two years old. Yeah, maybe. I think maybe more. 
Uh, so anyway, this includes a Zen 2 CPU and a Navi GPU. Don't know what that means. But the most interesting thing about the PS5 is that it's going to have this super fast PCIe 4.0 SSD and a data transfer architecture to match. Um, and that thing, like that's what they're touting. I'm waving my hands. You can't see it. That's what they're touting <laughs> as like the the secret sauce, like the the mojo in this thing. which allowed what we covered on first episode right yeah Where yeah we were just able to run an engine on it with the trillion billion polygons yeah. per square inch yeah it's supposed to have like the most absurd load times and the ability to put so many high detailed assets into the environment and i'm most looking forward to that because i feel like we're hitting i feel like a lot of people are saying this we're hitting like this this ceiling now on fidelity of how good graphics can look so you gotta like go other places i know, I, I know what you're saying but like we're getting so close to everything looking so realistic and but at the same time that's what we felt about that's how we felt about like ps2 ps2 yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. well not maybe the ps2 but no actually like when the xbox came out of like 360 we we're like oh yeah. my god like, look at these games I can, like it's like i can't believe this shit exists or call of duty yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or even something like, look stupid at, like look dead rising beards <laughs> like they actually have little individual beard hairs and <laughs> that boy's got so many follicles yeah, <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing <laughs> um, but I, I am very interested in this because something I'll talk about later is how I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to The Last of Us Part Two quite a lot. And I, I, yeah. I recently replayed The Last of Us in one sitting, like three weeks ago, because I just wanted wow. to. I wanted how to, long did that take you? It's like eight hours. That's actually it's, not bad at all. <laughs> I, I pile drived it, and I played it on hard too, which is. The, yeah. the messed up part but anyway yeah um i remember just thinking like there's so many instances in this game where like you need to give someone an alley-oop you know like they you can't get high enough and you need to like give them the boost and now we know it's like those are all hiding load screens you know like yeah. I, I need yeah. to crawl through this thing i need to lift somebody up like i need ellie to grab this ladder for me like that's all load screens and i'm, I'm really interested right. like hidden load screens and i'm really interested yeah. And what this next architecture of SSD will bring. Just like, seamlessly going from one section to yeah. the next section. Even Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is obviously a very new game, had tons of that stuff. You, you have all of these little sections that are parts that you can only sidle through. You know, you can only like sidestep through. And they take so long. They oh, take, oh and, God. And it's fine the first time through, but I got the platinum in that game. And like having yeah. to deal with it every single time I, I needed to like backtrack through an area started to oh, make me you. started to make me nuts. I hear you. The Switch suffers the most from that, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, they want to go so big with the, with the titles there. And the graphics are amazing. I mean, granted again you're like dark souls running at 30 fps steadily but at the same time the load times <laughs> god have, have playstation you, 2 load times worse have you played breath of the wild uh no that's on my list and i know the second one's coming out too and i'm just so behind in zelda so, games so, and i love zelda games in They're terms of like adventure game. in terms of loading times there's a couple places in that game that are so magnificent that the switch can't handle it and it just gets like choppy as shit there's, uh -huh. there's like, you know, like the last woods where like the master sword generally is, it's like so yeah. beautiful and amazing, but it's like, it goes down to like, you know, 20 frames, you know, but simultaneously the load times in that game weren't that bad, right? Not yeah. Well, the, about the way that it's built is you'll never be able to see the load times unless you're some crazy dude who's got like full mastery of the game and you can find a way to shoot yourself like a quarter away across the map. And when you uh -huh. do that, like Link will just freeze in air while stuff like loads <laughs> below and it's like, got, 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 got. And then, you know, oh, like eventually no. <laughs> everything will pop in. But you need to be like a master of the of the physics engine to like even cause that kind of stuff to happen. Right, yeah. right. But you know They definitely use that uh downscaling technology. Just uh, make things look like crap when you're further away. So we've and as you just like come into focus as you get closer. Yeah, exactly. Um Well so I I, so PS5. I, I know you're not a console guy right now besides the Switch. Uh, like, what would the PlayStation 5 need to offer to get you to relinquish 400 to $500? I think exclusives, and exclusives that look badass. And not rinse and repeat -y sort of stuff. Like, come out with new titles. You want, you want new IP? Yeah, like, don't come out with another, like, I don't know, Gears of War game. Like, I'm not going to be interested. Well, that honestly. is Xbox exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, stuff know, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Just, 
just just something fresh and unique that really does showcase the technology too more than anything more than just the company's just trying to make more money and milk a series for more well they they somebody... did they proved this time around that they can do that like um god of war is a bad example but they did remake god of war from the ground up uh, but the one that I'm thinking of is Horizon Zero Dawn. That's a spectacular... You're about God of War 2, right? Well, no, it's just called God of War. So there's God of War, God of War 2, God of War 3, and then there's, like, the handheld ones. I think they're called Chains of Sparta. And then there's a fully reimagined God of War on PlayStation 4 that's just called God of War. And it's a lot closer to, like, The Last of Us than it is to original crazy hack-and-slash God of War. Oh, okay. You don't know about this? No, I oh man, you have missed out. That game, that, that yeah. game's that game's a ten out of ten. But really, in terms of like full, wait, is that the one with the kid? Yeah. Oh but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. Yeah, yeah okay. boy, Never mind. boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy, the boy. Um, the in terms of fully new IP, Horizon Zero Dawn is very, very good. Um, yeah. From from them, and I I expect that they will announce a sequel to it. And, mm. and they have said they're working that that they're st it's not called Sony Worldwide Studios anymore. I, I can't remember what it's called. Sony, I can't remember what they call it. But um, Sony International. <laughs> uh, it's something they they've like stolen the global effort. They've stolen like the Marvel like ticker. You know, like when you watch a Marvel movie and you see like all the different past stuff. It, it, yeah. They they've they've stolen that. They've like created a whole brand. But anyway, they they have said that they are creating new IP. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to exactly? Um, Last of Us Two. Well, no, that's that's current gen. That's coming out in a week. Oh, so what? What else are you looking forward to on PS Five? I have uh, no idea. PS Five. Do you think you're gonna make a? a... Are you gonna say Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, uh, God, Jesus. Um, what is the, the Solid Snake game series? Oh my god! Oh uh, well, I mean, Metal Gear, Metal Gear. Are that, you going to make Metal Gear for it? Because well, that's like a stable. Every, yeah, I, that, every that, that's that's a that's a Konami um, title, and they're not fully um, exclusive anymore. But you know, Kojima made those games, and he's left, and he's the secret sauce for that kind of stuff. They did make some terrible like survival game this past generation i actually i heard it wasn't terrible but it's not metal gear so like will they what make metal gear survive i think it was called okay <laughs> excuse me i'm so this is how disconnected i am from all these games by the way <laughs> it's just awful <laughs> my knowledge konami, konami... Since i stopped working on my youtube channel yeah. like my my connection to the gaming world has just dropped well completely. i mean you've still got your pc stuff and you're you're the switch so, you're, indie stuff and switch stuff yeah i i check the the the, the switch marketplace yeah. every single day for new titles and it just it it actually bothers me how many good games they release on the switch because my wish list is probably 250 games right yeah now. no well, joke i mean you're you're the switch and pc guy i'm the playstation and pc guy and is there are there any xbox people left on earth i'm I sure mean, i'm sure there are but probably but there's no more the, there's the console wars died right no no i mean like well playstation not as crazy as before playstation hammers the shit out of yeah. everybody in terms of like uh units sold but um there's an interesting thing brewing which is the streaming war now because xbox has their xbox xbox game pass um uh -huh. I think that's what it's called. That's a streaming service that they've been betaing for a long time. And like, you don't need an Xbox. You don't need even a good computer. You just need access to a browser window and you can buy, you know, it's like Stadia. I just don't know how good that's going to be. I know. That's the thing. I like, I think that this might be the last, this coming generation might be the last box console generation. I, it's just going to be strange. I mean, to, to good gamers and people who really value like reflex time and all that stuff. But you're speaking you're know. speaking it from the point of view of an American. You know, like somebody who's living in South Korea or Japan, their internet is like buttloads better than ours. Like I think they could support it. I think it all depends on the infrastructure of your community whether it's going to be viable. It still needs some. Um, it, is it going to be ping just because of like the signal travel time, for example? Well, Google's got a thing. I'm like, I, I hear that it mostly sucks. Google's thing, but they did develop some kind of mojo where their special controller connects directly to the data center that you are playing the game off of. 
So they they say that there's like and they're supposed to be kind of you know spread out, and so you you connect it to like a relatively close center. Uh, I don't know about closeness. It just like whatever their netcode mojo is. Supposedly, like you get a two millisecond response time or less. Like what? with with from your controller to the data center. That doesn't necessarily mean the image that's coming to your screen is is, is as good. That is still crazy. Yeah. Two milli. I think that's what, what it's supposed to be. Let me. Let me oh, wow. I th they call it like neg. They get some bullshit term for it called like negative latency or something like that. Negative. Because latency. that's like what what the best Stadia. monitors out there are at, at right negative now. Negative latency is a concept by which Stadia can set up a game with a buffer or predicted latency between the server and player, and then use various methods to undercut it. The it can run the game at a super fast frame rate and can act on player inputs earlier or it can predict predict a player's button presses, which... Okay. Like, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of sketch. Um, that does sound sketchy. But... People do all sorts of silly stuff in games. You can't predict what the player is going to do. Actually, most people are unpredictable in video games. So what I'm looking forward to in PS4, PS5 is the opposite of what you're looking for. I want a God of War sequel. I want a Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. I want a uh, Marvel Spider-Man sequel. Um, and Which are all pretty much, I think, lined up. They have, they've, none of them have been announced, but they're happening. Yeah. And I'll, I'll probably play GTA 6 on playstation i assume gta because you know that's happening i i i, I will never i will never play the online i will never ever ever play the online i won't get sucked into that shit but i, I do really like their single player campaigns and, and and really beating the piss out of them with this sort of technology I, I think they can get away from like the more cartoony look of gta 2 even though like the latest ones were in that cartoony but yeah. they can probably make it even more realistic yeah they can get it closer to red dead redemption too you know exactly oh that, my god i heard some stirrings that that might actually come to switch one day it will it Dead redemption too it would be a monumental feat i i mean i can totally see that if they just lower the textures yeah but maybe to the newer hardware release that would be cool there's no no low no, times would be will still be crazy there's no real rumblings right now right about switch pro no. like that's still just a massive rumor yeah, I've been I've been looking that up. And the last time I checked on it was like about a week ago for our segment actually to see if they're gonna release it. But yeah. it's just there's strong rumors. There yeah. there's so many things that point to new hardware release, at least upgraded. Twenty twenty one sounds right, right? Like for a redesign. Cause they they must. Because twenty seventeen was where we were where we were at before. Was this when it got released, right? Switch release date. That's a good question. 2017. I want to say April 2017. Let's see. March 2017. I was close. Yeah, very close. I was close. You know well, why? You know why I'm close on that? Why? Because uh, you were standing in line waiting yeah, for it. Yeah, because I waited in line for like eight <laughs> hours for it or something insane like that. It was probably longer actually. I, I my my boss let me off on my lunch break and I was like, hey, can I just not come back and wait for this video game system to the come out? Boss. And he was like, yeah, sure, man, whatever. Go Most ahead. understanding boss ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was great until I got a different boss and then I left that company. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. What? Are, anything else you're looking forward to? And um, so, who do you think is going to actually beat the the market to that? um streaming service do you I, think it's going to be sony who who's the richest one right now out of them is it nintendo between google and microsoft i those are your big competitors playstation isn't really looking at it nintendo's online infrastructure is garbage shit like they don't focus on online infrastructure at all you know um so if i had to guess i would say that microsoft will do it because they have not ruined their name yet uh, Google was like, hey, it works, it's perfect, it's great, and it's it's not. Like, the yeah. games are supposed to come in super H, you know, they're supposed to come in whatever it's called, HDR and all that stuff, uh -huh. like 4K. They don't, you know, like... I saw a demo of that too, and it wasn't that impressive. No, it's not good. Yeah. The latency I mean, isn't was, great. It was okay, but for intense games, like shooters, no. Yeah. It's, it's just not going to work. Like, you're not, not playing, you're not playing Apex and Overwatch on that shit. No, you no, know? no, no, no. Like Probably Sonic. Dude, not even that you're playing like visual novels on that if you want like a one-to-one -one experience you know what i mean <laughs> but microsoft has had it in beta for a very long time and they're going very slow with it and they're not going to say it's ready until it's ready and by the time it's ready they'll have a whole bunch of good faith behind them and they have a, a big library of games that they can just drop out there you know 
Yeah. True, oh, I'm sorry. It's true. not called Game Pass. Game Pass is their amazing deal that's like ten bucks or whatever for the year to just And you add... keep getting free titles. Yeah. What is it what is their streaming service called? Hold on. Um, I need to Google it. Microsoft Game Streaming is called Project X Cloud. Oh yeah, that does sound familiar. That's yeah. that's what it is. Project X Cloud. Sony has something as well, but they don't really care about it, I don't think. PlayStation now, not now, something like that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's uh, another thing. I hope that eventually these companies just make their online services free because they, they already make so much oh, money. Oh, you're talking about like like playing together, thing, like Xbox yeah. Live? Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just a BS extra cost that nobody really likes. Nobody really accepts it. Everybody just... You know, I, like, I, 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 fine. I like Nintendo. I mean, I hate Nintendo's infrastructure, but I like their bonuses approach where you get like all the NES games and the SNES games and like Tetris 99 is one of the best games that came out, you know, last year. Yeah. Yeah. Opinion. I played so much of that. It's such a actually hardcore game. Yeah. You get so anxious playing it. Dude, the best Every I ever I did was like 20. Top 10, my palms were sweaty as hell. Uh, dude, you're way better than me. I got to like top 20 is like my best. Never going to win, though. <laughs> All right. You want to go over to this Kojima story? Let's go. I actually have to uh, tell me the backstory of. Um... So you don't know about the Konami Kojima oh. thing? No. All right, so Kojima worked for Konami for many, many years, like making the Metal yep. Gear series and Snatcher and some other random stuff. And uh, they pulled funding on him really hard for Metal Gear Solid Five, and basically chopped the last chapter extremely small. Like they Why would they do that? He they, carried the Sony consoles. Well, <laughs> so well, it's because like Konami is all about their pachinko machines. That's how they make money now. They don't make money off of their video game consoles. They license their IPs to themed pachinko machines and they like make money off of those in japan that's like their big business okay so, so kojima gets pissed at them and he's like i'm out of here he builds his own studio that he had to rename at one point i think uh what was it called like well it's just called like kojima productions i think right now okay he made that uh death stranding which i love a lot of people don't like and uh he's been working on some mystery project for a little while and it looks like it's been scrapped uh, so let me oh. let me read this here. This is from IGN, written by Wesley LeBlanc. I don't know that. Man, I watch a lot of IGN stuff. I don't know them. Anyway, Hideo Kojima, big project, in quotes, recently scrapped in planning stages for next game. Hideo Kojima was at work on a big project following Death Stranding, but he has since said it was recently scrapped. An interview published by Live Door News, don't know them, and trans Trent translated by gamatsu i know them but kojima revealed some interesting details about what kojima has been up to in his post death stranding days he was at work on his unknown big project but his team has now entered the planning stages for what could be a Pro kojima projects kojima next productions productions next big game sorry um i just want to see anywhere here where he talks about silent hill or silent hills as for Kojima is working now, it's not anything related to Metal Gear Solid or PT Silent Hills. He told Live Door that those rumors that about requiring the acquiring the rights to those franchises franchises are completely false. But his media manager has been teasing Silent Hills type stuff in Twitter. I know this. Like mm -hmm. he he'll have like the pyramid pencil for like pyramid head, and there's some some weird stuff like yeah. that. Elsewhere in the interview, Kojima said Death Stranding is making a profit and has earned enough to make up for the development costs, which is awesome. I didn't surprise that. We sur surpassed the amount we needed to make a profit, so I think it's sold well enough to be called a success. Recoupment of development costs included, uh, included Kojima said, will release the PC version soon. You should get on that, by the way. Is I, I don't know. I think you'll like it. <laughs> soon, I've already s secured enough profit to prepare, prepare what's next, so there's no need to worry. Um, I hmm. are, are you a Metal Gear guy at all? I am. Okay. I loved Metal Gear. Which ones have you played? All the ones before the PlayStation. What was it? Three. All right. So you've played Orally? Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid Two, Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid Three, Snake Eater. Those would be the ones yeah, that you've played. That was it. Yeah, that was it. Uh, and I, I love them. Th I mean, three is the best one still, Evolver, in my opinion. Evolver Ocelot, like it, it, it was just so epic. Yeah. Solid Snake, 
just just fantastic can you imagine pulling the plug on that guy's funding like i know he's like verbose and spends like more money than any other director but he did he didn't he didn't sure. make that company but he was a pillar of that company you know yeah definitely that's just that's disheartening actually and do you think like that do you think that he would like swallow his pride with how much they fucked him to work on silent hills because he wanted to do it so bad that was another thing they pulled he was going to make he was going to do the remake of silent hill called silent hills i'm sure you've heard about that mm -hmm. it's this very mm -hmm. famous demo called pt that's only on some playstation 3s it's so tumultuous that konami pulled that p pulled that demo off of the ps3 store so you can't even download it if you have a ps3 like people literally sell playstation 3s with it on the hard drive for big money on ebay wow let me see right here uh PS3 that's actually not pt ps3 oh, can i find one ps3 with pt that's crazy I, I remember there was one that went for a shitload of money there's none up there right now can I see Pat? like how much how much you're talking about like a thousand bucks or more something like that yeah Jesus nope there's just because there. of that demo yeah wow PT auction price I got I gotta find one uh, PS3 see if there's a new story PS3 crosses the ten thousand dollar barrier on eBay this no yeah this is a CNET story. Bids for the coveted PlayStation 3 consoles have skyrocketed to three and four times their purchase price. That is insane. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I'm sorry. This is an old, old article. This is when PS3 launched. All right. I'm going to skip trying to find this, but they, they, did, okay. they did go for a bunch, and it was ridiculous. I'll look, oh I'll, I'll look for the story and see if we can get it for, for next time just to look at it real quick. That is crazy. But if you were this guy and there was like a, this passion project... Suppose, you think you'd be too salty to ever do it? Yeah, that's again? what I'm wondering. You think he'd be too salty to like work with them if he got like free full creative control and shit? I mean, then again, he has so many fans, right? And they probably like cheer yeah. him on, and they're constantly like, "Oh, please, like just just make this." It, it plus, plus, he has like a legacy, you know. Like oh, he's yeah. he's done so much work. It's just dropping it and abandoning all of it and saying meh just because <laughs> it happened. <laughs> but also, if you think about it, he's never actually built a Silent Hills game aside from that demo so he may not have that much you know invested emotionally in it but i do think that he would make a good one if he if he took oh over. yeah because it's just he like all his games they just have so much atmosphere and so much soul and character so much character so much character yeah for sure yeah. that it would probably be the best silent hills game <laughs> he's he's an obsessive no he, doubt. he's like the stanley kubrick of of game directing you know yeah he's just because yeah. you know how obsessive. like resident evil games eventually didn't feel like resident evil games yeah maybe? after like resident evil 4 you get to this actiony thing but it's still resident evil yeah like the last one was decent but at the same time there was something about just like the original ones that i don't even know have you played I... have you played the first person one though resident evil 7 no that no. feels like resident evil in first person that game is okay. that game is great and it is available on pc if you're ever interested, okay. I might put it on my list. That it's, I would definitely say it's worth it. He would make, okay. he would make a good Resident Evil game too. I bet. Um, mm, yeah. I love yeah. Kojima. He won Best Director at um, the Game Awards last year, and like, who else is gonna win Best Director when Kojima has a game out? He's like no, he's like the known director guy. Like, how many other directors can you name in gaming? Zero, actually. I guess like <laughs> Druckmann, the guy who makes The Last of Us um I, yeah but you're saying that just because you're like into the series now well there's and also kind of it kind of went big I, but aside I, from that igo um the zelda guy, that guy he's zelda i didn't even know his name he might be producer now he might be like lead producer and not director anymore like shigeru miyamoto is not even a director anymore he's a producer i feel like mm -hmm. all, all the big names i know are like the ancient names like um uh, what, what's, what, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. like sakaguchi the guy who did all the final fantasies you know uh-huh that kind of thing for for directors no nah, i guess i really don't know that many names anymore i probably should seeing as how i'm running this podcast so you think that he's not going to come out with another metal gear because of this stuff and i mean he, ha he has to, he has to, konami has to cut a deal with him 
And I, I think that if Konami tries to cut a deal with him, he's going to ask for, you know, the fucking sun, the stars, and the moon, you know? Because... You think so? Yeah, they fucked him so hard. But do you think he's going to be like that? I think he will be. I think I think he is... He seems like such a friendly sort of laid-back kind of guy. Yeah, but if you if you look at his work, you know that he's also like a, you know, like a megalomaniac, you know? Like, he's, yeah. he's an obsessive... Um, he does. He, yeah, he knows. He knows he's good. <laughs> yeah, he knows how good he is. So uh, if I was him, and if I was him, I would try to like get purchased by Sony as like a second party studio, um, and get rolled into their whole thing. Yeah, uh, he does deserve something like that, actually. Yeah, to be quite honest. I mean, he's already yeah. working very closely with them. He used the engine that Guerrilla Games uses, which is a first party studio in um, Death Stranding. So, oh. so they've already got like a very close relationship, and you, obviously they have a, a Death Stranding has this timed exclusive with PC as well. Uh huh. You know? Which was actually a, like like you said, it was a pretty decent game. I a, I love that wrong. game, dude. That game. Well, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's well, I mean, it's a walking simulator. At the end of the day, like you are hiking. That is the game. Yeah, but. It, there's a lot of adventure in it. You yeah. see a lot of cool things. You do. Uh, the best yeah. The best thing I can say about it is... I guess people, that, that doesn't appeal to a lot of people anymore. Here's my one-line review. It's a game about hiking that made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It did, it did something. All right, what do we have for time? 31. All right, let's check out <laughs> this movie sequel stuff, which I just cannot believe. Oh, God. I mean, I can believe it. It made money. It made money. This it made really... money because it was a meme. No, little kids love Sonic. Are you kidding me? Little kids are fucking. Little kids barely even know Sonic. That is horseshit. You don't. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Sonic... Do you remember like the whole character design crap they had to go through? Yeah, I know. I know that. But I'm just talking about. I think so people wanted to see one. Dude, Sonic as a brand is still huge. Like little kids, they can they they just get like. Oh, he's cute and he goes fast. Like he's so cool. He's such a badass. Like. <laughs> I don't know if he eats corn dogs, not corn dogs, what was it? Chili dogs. I don't know if he eats chili dogs anymore, but that's another character trait I can think of. This is from gamesindustry.biz. Do you want to read this one? Because my throat's going. Paramount Pictures is reportedly taking Sonic the Hedgehog for another spin. According to Variety, Paramount and Sega's Sammy have confirmed that development has started on a sequel to the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which debuted in theaters in February. Theatas. No decisions, huh? The theaters, they don't, they, they, don't, theaters. they don't exist anymore. Theaters, yeah, keep going. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What is what is that concept going yeah. out to movies? What? No decisions have been made about casting for the sequel, but the film, uh, first film featured uh, Ben Schwartz as the voice of Sonic, Jim Carrey as a villainous Doctor Robotnik, and James Marsden. Who's James Marsden? Marsden. He's um. Have Marsden. You, have you seen uh, Westworld? He's in the first two seasons of Westworld. He's I need to see this man's face. Okay. You'll you'll know his face when you see him. He's James he's, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, do you know what else he's in? Oh, he's, he's Cyclops. In, uh, he's Cyclops, right? He's also in debt to me if you've seen that series. I haven't seen that. He's it's, like he's like stereotypical ha stereotypical handsome man. I recommend that to me on, on Netflix to check it out. It's actually funny. Wait, is he Cyclops or am I thinking of somebody else? No, he is Cyclops. He's the he's Cyclops in like the two thousands uh uh, X-Men. He's a cool guy. He's all right. However, the original film's director, Jeff Fowler, and writers Pat Casey and Josh Miller would be brought back. Producers Toby Asher. That's what I would say. Neil Moritz and Toru Nakahara uh -huh. would fill the same roles on the sequel, as would ex executive producers Hajime Satomi, Haruki Satomi, and their... Uh, and brother and from and another mother, Tim, Tim, Tim Miller. Miller. I, wonder, I wonder if they're, <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they're related. Hajime According Satomi to... and Har Har Haruki Satomi. Yeah. Har Haruki Satomi. Yeah. According to Box Office Mojo, the first Sonic film brought in three hundred and six million dollars <laughs> on a budget, wide. a budget of only eighty five. Eighty five million. Yeah. Wait, how did the, a big animation film like that only cost eighty five million? I don't know, man. That's crazy. And they had to do the animation twice. I, right? Yeah. <laughs> it had the largest opening weekend of all time for a video game adaptation. How many video game movies have you seen? Uh, I try not to. I feel like you, I, you've seen Prince of Persia. 
I've <laughs> seen Prince of Persia. <laughs> I've seen Resident Evil. Oh, um, my I've God. seen uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh obviously. God, I always forget about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Dude, they were like in the first uh, game films that came out. Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat were... Annihilation. They see graphically they weren't bad, but the stories, I mean, oh my god, just oh, don't yeah. ever again. Like the acting, holy crap. <laughs> but I remember like that scene where it's sub zero against Scorpion. Who, who is it? Is it Scorpion? Yeah. And he, he spins the, the bucket into his uh ice thingy and it comes out as like a lance and just like uh, kills him. Is it Scorpion in that fight? I think it is Scorpion in that fight. Is it Scorpion or is it like Liu Kang or, or some oh, dude? Else? I can't remember now. You know what's crazy is that the guy who plays Shang Tsung in those, he now does the voice acting for Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat eleven. Oh, cool. And, and and they use his exact facial features, too. They, like, scanned in his face. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. Um, aside from that, what else came out um, oh, that was I mean, the, obviously extremely horrible? The, the uh, Super Mario Brothers say. movie. Oh, my God. The that was just... In, that was just cringy. It's like you have crap, like Mortal Kombat, and then you have cringe, like that well, garbage. That was like a fever dream. Oh God! I, actually, you know what? A decent video game movie, Ghostbusters. How? What? Wait, was Ghostbusters a game and then oh a film? Oh my God! I'm I'm re retracting your nerd card. I know. Do that. Ghostbusters is a, a a film originally. Yeah. And then it was a game. Sorry, just so old. Well, there's Ghostbusters. I, I wasn't uh, in America. Oh okay? yeah, that's right. Okay, you can always pull that card out. Yes. Go Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 there wasn't like an NES game that was based off of Ghostbusters uh -huh. um, and then you know obviously we've got the horrible horrible uh, remake that came out three what was it like four years ago that movie is a yeah. dumpster yeah. fire there's actually one that was announced recently that I was really excited about to see how they would do it. Uh, oh, the Ghost, Ghostbusters like Legacy or something like no, that? No, 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 not Ghostbusters at all just, just another um, video, game video game um, adaptation um jeez what, what game was it i was like oh this could be good and the casting was good for it too like they had like a couple of really famous people oh uh, oh was it the borderlands movie that was casting like kate blanchett as um did you hear about that they're, they're casting kate blanchett as uh, uh the main female character that's in all of them that i'm blanking no, I didn't on know this right one. now no. yeah i mean i think it's gonna be terrible um let me, let me... Let me see if I can find it. Like, the humor in Borderlands is already pretty aged. Um, where I think it's going to be, you know, absolutely a joke. I just typed in... They're making an Ar Uncharted movie? Oh, Are yeah, you, you didn't know about that? I did not know that. Kate Blanchett to star in Lionsgate... Oh, to play Lilith, that's right. They're making a Monster Hunter film? Yeah, yeah, they are. I don't even know what... Mass Effect? I don't even know what that could be about. The, the only thing I'm slightly looking forward to is that there's going to be a Last of Us adaptation for HBO. A a, ser a series, not a movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. There you go. Here's a couple of good ones that could be interesting. Splinter Cell. Yeah. That they can easily pull that off. But Splinter Cell, um, isn't Splinter Cell already based on a book, though? Isn't that a Tom Clancy? Isn't it Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell? Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Yeah. 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 So there's already better source material to so go that's, off of. That's a book film. Yeah. Yeah. What about Deus Ex Human Revolution? I've never played those games. That yeah, was cool. See, let me see. It, yeah, it's a, there's a Splinter Cell was a whole book series, so they can they can go through like so many things and cherry pick stuff to to make that good. But I mean, like that that's an already existing property. Like I can't think of like a video game movie that knocked it out of the park. Like D Detective Pikachu is kind of good. <laughs> and, and until the last act and then it turns into this ridiculous bullshit have you seen detective pikachu i would never all right spoilers for detective <laughs> pikachu the the main character his dad has gone missing right uh -huh. spoilers the reason why detective peach pikachu can speak is because the soul of his dad is trapped inside of the pikachu <laughs> Or, and, and they have to, like, separate them at the end so that the, the man can escape the Pikachu body and the Pikachu turns into a normal Pikachu. Oh, God. What was a Pikachu like? He was, was he, like, super sentient and crazy? Yeah, yeah. He was, just, he, he was Ryan Reynolds. He was Ryan Reynolds oh, without, without swearing 
is what he was. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's weak. <laughs> the worst <laughs> the worst movie adaptation. Oh, I, no. Have you ever seen Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within? No. That is a garbled mess of horse shit. That is, don't, I mean, maybe watch it just for the curiosity factor. Uh, that's that's one of the worst <laughs> movies I've ever seen. It's not based on anything relating to Final Fantasy whatsoever. There's something in it that could kind of be like construed as like the live stream sort of from Final Fantasy VII, but not really. Yeah. Um, it is garbage, and I, I also think that Final Fantasy VII Advent Children is also garbage. Is is a movie like American Cast? Um, yes. American, your production at all? Uh, it was. That's a good question. Uh, Man, I'm shape. looking at like actually a really long list of Final movies Fantasy scheduled Spirits. for 2020 and beyond that we should actually talk about a couple of them. Yeah. Potentially which ones would be good. What do you got? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Steve Carell is rumored to be on the in Minecraft the movie. Are you, uh, <laughs> is it gonna be Steve? God, why? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna play he's gonna play steve i mean what kind of a story do you pull from sorry excuse me everybody all four of you uh like what 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 kind of a story can you pull from minecraft i don't know i mean minecraft is all about personal stories that players make I'm, so i mean you don't even need to have a story to make it make money is there even any sort of um what should we call it lore lore to minecraft exactly not that i'm aware of I mean, I I played Minecraft at like its inception, like before it went super wide. Uh, when you ha- yeah. when you had to like download it off of Mo Yang's website or whatever, and th- yeah. and they just they drop you in, they just drop you in. I don't know. Yeah, and you're just like, all right, go go make stuff. Yeah, like yeah. you don't even have like dungeons and different worlds and stuff like that. It's like very original. Final. I'm, I'm sorry, very original Zelda. Like, figure it out, asshole. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. just people use it to recreate their houses. <laughs> yeah, and like the Louvre <laughs> and shit like from that. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but check this. So, um, <clears throat> Tomb Raider two. Another oh, but well, that yeah, that girl that was in that movie Room or whatever that did the first. I heard mm-hmm. that. I heard that that remake was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty. Okay, I mean like generic war. Oh my god, can you stop yawning? Sorry, man. Like generic, <laughs> unprofessional. Generic war movie. Hey, man, I, I've been used to doing this at like four on Sundays. You know, you've been a a wall. Oh yeah, it is. It is almost nine for you. Yeah, it's it's almost eight for me. Yeah. Um, Minecraft the movie Uncharted. I mean, Uncharted is just Indiana Jones, so it's just like Indiana Jones with different characters, basically. You know, if you look at the screenshot here, it pretty much is. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Last of Us. Is it going to be a movie? I mean, the last... It's going to be a television series. I'm pretty sure. On H, uh, on HBO. And, I mean, I love The Last of Us, but The Last of Us is just The Road with Zombies. It was announced in 2014, so... But that's not happening. That's, that's, that is that is scrapped. There, more recently, an HBO miniseries or... Uh, yeah, like a limited series has been announced. Mm-hmm. And uh, the guy, the main director, Druckmann, I think his name is Neil Druckmann, is going to be working on it. And the guy who did Chernobyl, have you seen Chernobyl? Yes, a few episodes. Top tier, in my opinion. And, he, yeah. and he's going to be working on The Last of Us, which is um, promising. Yeah, I mean, it has sci-fi elements. Yeah. We'll pull it off. Watch Dogs. Announced in 2013. I've never played. Last a, talked about in 2016. I've never played a Watch Dogs game. I'm kind of interested in that one that's coming out. But... Well, there's another one. Yeah, exactly. There's another one coming out. The first one Legion. apparently wasn't bad, but they totally flopped because yeah. their um, announcement trailers and demos and everything were just amazing, but then the actual gameplay was nothing like that, and it was kind of bland. Stop yawning. I, I muted my microphone. There, I unyawned. <laughs> This this mic actually has a mute on it, which is nice. Monster Hunter. That's weird to me. Like, which is let me it, see if it's gonna. I mean, I can already really tell you the story. Is yeah. the young plucky new Monster Hunter has dreams of killing the most brutal beast in all the land, and the guild won't let him in, and he has to prove himself. And then he gets in trouble on his first hunt, and he comes across the grizzly, or maybe like fe- the seasoned female warrior, and they. And she saves him, and they form a bond. Like it'll be some horse shit like that, you know. They form a party to go kill the. I don't even remember the monster names. Yeah, I don't know. 
Um, but it could be interesting because they can do a lot of cool CGI for that, obviously. Yeah. Like Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park style sort of stuff. And then they have to CGI the cats. <laughs> the fucking uh, cat, the cat people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, they'll sell so many action figures from that. They said, That's according sure. to an interview, um, we found a way of connecting the dune-like sand-covered world of Monster Hunter with our world. So okay. it, might be, it might be something like that. Um, Mass Effect. Yeah, I mean, there is a good story there until I guess they ruin it at the end, right? From what I've heard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dante's Inferno. Uh, I mean, Temple that... Run. I don't even know Temple Run. Dude, Temple Run is a... <laughs> It's an endless runner for cell phones. It's like one of the first. They're ever... gonna make a movie out of it, dude. They made a movie out of Angry Birds. I think there's two Angry Birds movies, aren't there? I definitely know of one. I don't it's know just two. like what IP. It's like what do people know? Like it doesn't need to have any substance or anything. It's just like any. It, we can just get kids to go see this garbage. It's like just rabbits. There's gonna be a rabbits one too. Yo, I will defend Mario and Rabbits Kingdom Battle until my death. <laughs> that game is great. If you don't have that on Switch, you've made a mistake. I'm serious. It's a fun game. Okay. I'll, I'll get it, actually. Okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. That was one of the first releases, actually, right? It was within the launch window. It must have been three, yeah. three months after release, something yeah. like that. I think it was August of that year. Look that up. Uh, <laughs> see if I'm... Night. Oh, look it up right now? Yeah, just see if I'm Let's right. See. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle original release. I want to say August. August 2017. Let's see. Just stop the whole podcast just to see if I'm right. August 29th, 2017. Damn, son. There you go. Yeah. I see this guy. This guy knows this stuff. For the this podcast. guy fucks. Um, <laughs> all right, give me, give me, give me one more, and then let's move on. A good one. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> good. Got a. In... God of War. Yeah, I mean, if you do the most recent God of War, there's a story there. That I could see. There's another apparently Mortal Kombat coming out. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, God. I think that's the one I was thinking about. I'm real scared about something like that, man. Like, how do you make a good Metal Gear Solid? Like, they're so convoluted to begin with, and it takes like, you know, ten to fifteen hours to tell the story. You know? Yeah. There, there is. Yeah. You know, some of the Metal Gear games, like, there's. 30 minute cutscenes and multiple of them. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> that doesn't even take into account like all the different like codecs. They inject a lot of emotion into into a lot of the, the parts. That's true. I, I feel like that's a disaster. I wonder if they'll just get Key for Sutherland again like they got for the last game. There's gonna be Gears of War one, Firewatch. Dude. If you play that one, I know Portal about Firewatch. Movie. They could Firewatch is probably the most doable the, yeah the most doable and probably maybe the most interesting of everything that's they on only this. need to cast one person and, and other <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all right. they need that's <laughs> right you need one person who can actually move their body and then a head in a jar and then, you, a, and then you can do that movie yeah 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 i mean it have to be a tiny indie budget you know <laughs> yeah no actually it's a gran turismo film scheduled to come out too jesus oh my god which is i mean just that sounds actually pretty easy to do too. Yeah, just I just don't know where they're gonna way. grab a, a, a story for that. No, well, I mean, how do they grab stories for Fast and the Furious? It used to be about racing, and now it's about I like, mean, they're just saving saving the world and stuff, right? They're about like yeah, interpersonal relationships. Yeah. <laughs> it's, about, it's, it's about family. <laughs> Who's gonna date who now? Like, who gives a crap? Oh All right, real quick, like two sentences. What are you playing? And then let's talk about what we want to be playing. Um, haven't been playing much actually because I was out of town. Oh yeah, that's then, right. Your life exploded. Yeah, my life exploded. Lost my phone. I lost my computer. Um, aside from that, I played a little bit of Monster Train. I'm still hooked on it. I'm yeah. still having fun with that. Um, what I'm looking forward to, um, I found out there's actually going to be a Total War release, and it's going to be ah. Total War, um, not Trojan. Total War, uh, Troy. <laughs> Troy. Troy, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Trojan's yeah. a little you know, you can't a little yeah, it, it's, it would be a little uh double Did you, did you say it's right? a little penis? That's what it sounded like you just said. No, I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> but um I I loved I, I played Shogun. Shogun oh, yeah. two. Yeah. And I had never played a grand strategy game like on that scale where you just control like such a huge massive army of, of just army and troops what about like some uh, of the silly bullshit like dynasty warriors 
I I never got into that. Okay. Yeah, because they were just they were fake. <laughs> yeah, they're just arcade games, basically. They were fake yeah. troops. This one, it matters. Like you, when you see a person in your army die, you're like, oh no, <laughs> what like, have this I done? This is going to get turned around, and it's just like, well, how are we going to explain this to his family? It's like one of your um, boys in XCOM <laughs> dying that you named. <laughs> oh my god, I I used to do that all the time yeah. with, with my college friends, but I'm really excited about that. It's going to be obviously Greek mythology. Okay. Um, you're actually going to have to like appease the gods and stuff like that just there's, there's a bartering system in it um it's going it's going to be great and i have the computer if it doesn't die i have the computer to run it now i'm sorry i used man. to have to play on, on the lowest settings on the laptop i'm but... sorry man no man not your fault bro <laughs> <laughs> um okay anything else um, there was another one that i was just thinking about that escaped my mind i i got one for why i'm not getting monster train that I'm going to talk about. Oh, what? I want Griftlands, and I don't really want two deck builders right now. But it's so different. I know, but, like, I just don't want to divide my brain between two of them. And Griftlands, in terms of, what? like, it's got the lore, and it's from a company I really like, and uh, I like that there's two decks in it. So if you don't know, Griftlands is this game coming out by clay i think it's coming out on the 11th clay. or the 15th they're the guys who made shank and shank 2 mark of the ninja don't starve a lot of really good indie i would call like triple i indie games mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and, it's amazing it looks gorgeous yeah so this game and, griftlands is you're you're in kind of like uh, imagine that you're like i don't know if this will make sense to you dara i feel like i said this before like you're in moss eisley in star wars like a den of no. a den of thieves of like aliens of all different kinds is like what this world is like and uh -huh. you and you play a grifter i guess who the first character i don't know about the other two characters but the first character got like fucked over by her master she was like an apprentice um and she's going on this quest to basically go murder her master right yeah. Um, yeah and the the way that the game plays out is like you're getting information and you're taking jobs and trying to like find your way towards this person while building your character up and getting stronger yeah. and there's two ways that you can go into conflict you can either fight people and for that this is a deck building roguelike by the way just like monster yeah. train uh you can fight people with your combat deck or you can battle them in like a game of wits in a conversation deck yeah um, I don't know if it's called the conversation like, deck. And you have like argument cards and you yeah. destroy their arguments and, and things like and you, that. You could have like a floating argument that attacks their main argument. So they have to like try to destroy yeah. your backup argument to keep their main argument from dying. And like if you destroy their argument and you basically win the battle, quote unquote, though you get what you want from them basically because like you yeah. want to talk, you, you, it's like a negotiation deck. I think that's what it's negotiation called. Negotiation deck. That's yeah, what it's yeah, called. You're, negotiation you're right, you're right. Deck. Yeah. Um, and that game looks really interesting to me. It's super beautiful. There's lots of systems. And uh, and there's I, I apparently the, the story is really fleshed out. I think like, so. You can do so much in it. The, like you can play. Obviously, it was designed for multiple playthroughs and it delivers. Yeah. And, and, there, and there's two campaigns. Three. I'm sorry. There's yeah. three campaigns. And it's, it's a little. Honestly, it's a little too good to be true. But since they've actually put out. Uh, copies of it um, released, you know, yeah. um, uh, what should we call it? Like press copies of yeah. people have played through it. Like it's obviously real, but it's just unbelievable. Like I can't believe like, it's it's a one of a kind game. I've never played a, a, an RPG roguelike sort of mixture like this. Yeah, with card like deck building elements. And it's just, it's beautiful. And the writing's really good in it, too. Like, all the characters have, have strong personalities. I, I, I'm, I'm really excited about that. that. That's actually gonna draw me back to PC gaming, so for I, sure. I like how you say that it's too good to be true, and then I have, like, a one-word argument. And that argument is clay. True. You know what I mean? It's it's like saying, like, wow, this super giant game is... I can't believe how good this super giant game is. But You're, also, it's so different than, like, the other titles they've worked on. True. You know? All of their titles like, are pretty goddamn different, though. Like, the quality... they've Exactly. The quality has always been high, but this mm. is such a different year for them. Yeah. And, and they've done an amazing job. I like, can't wait it, to play it. I, it it's, it's amazing. I want to say it's the 11th. I'm not totally sure. Let me see here. Grift Lands release date. The 11th. So that's that's this week, right? 
Oh, yeah, dang boy, that's this week. That's what three I'll be. Three days. I'm probably going to stream that. Oh, nice. Let me yeah. know. Yeah. Another game I'm looking forward to, actually two of them, Spelunky 2. What? The tap? Oh, you know what? I did hear rumors about this, but I've seen nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there it's a trailer happen. or anything? Um, Good question. I doubt it. Cause I feel like I would have seen it like all over. I would have heard like Northern Lion talking about it and all those people. There is a trailer. Really? Yeah. Spelunky 2 PS4 trailer. Oh man, I didn't set this up for this. It will also be on PC, fortunately. Unlike Persona 5 that I wish would have a freaking PC release that would never happen, but I would really like to play it. Let me see game. if I can get this on screen and make it not look stupid. I'm just, I'm just gonna move it over here. I have it on screen right now. Fe female main character this time is your starting character. I mean, it looks like Spelunky. I see different enemy types that I don't recognize. It's like a little better looking, slightly. Yeah. Better textures. So I, I just assume that they're going to go super hard on the mechanics side then. Most likely. Yeah. It was pretty good already with mechanics, but like it inspired so many different games, like Cave Blazers. You played that. Oh, yeah. And some terrible yeah. ones that we played for too long, like uh, Vagante. Oh, fuck Dude, that game. The gun is so famous. So many people still play it. I don't like that game. I don't get it. It's just it's just not smooth. Yeah, it's not smooth that, at all. That from is nice, not smooth. There's no, a lot of no. lot of frustrating shit in there. Yeah. Uh huh. I, this I mean this does look good, but it, to me it's like yeah it's more spelunky. Yeah, I'm just interested to see like what they're gonna introduce. Cool, uh, cool Into water it. physics. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop watching this now. And uh, the other title, What's yeah, what? I told you Persona Five. I wish, I wish, Persona would come out. Of maybe, PC. maybe one day, maybe one day. <laughs> and uh, did Persona the One? Did Persona Four ever come out on PC? No. Okay, well then maybe not. No, maybe, no. maybe not. You, uh, you just need yourself a PS4, man. Persona Four. You can probably get them cheap right now. With PS5 being like two minutes away. Yeah. Wait. We understand. No, it never came out on PC, unfortunately. Yeah. Atlas, though, man, Atlas makes some good games. Yeah, they do. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. That's that... also a little exciting title for me. That's out. No way. Yeah, that's Did that come out in March. That's been out for a long time. <laughs> oh my god, I've been waiting for that game. I didn't even realize that it came out. <laughs> that's been hey, out you know what? A small dream come true. Yeah, there you go. That you can play that. I've been tonight. looking forward to it. So Yay. next week you can talk to us about Will of the Wisps. All right, you got it. All right, and the last game that I'm gonna talk about that I'm looking forward to is Man, it got is, this part two. is the Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> of course. I, that's, I mean, that's there's not much to say about it. I can't wait to continue Ellie's story and see how fucked up things get for her. I've avoided the spoilers. I was thinking about streaming it, but I'm not going to just in case some random douchebag decides to come in and be like, Joel gets impaled by a goat or something. I don't know. You know, like, I, I don't want any spoilers on that. I, I, might I might record it or I might just play it by myself and then we'll, we can talk about it here. Um, but I, I mean, I, a, yeah, Every, get, I was gonna say, you can get like a really active moderator. Yeah. And, uh, or I could, chat delay. or I could just turn it into, um, uh, emote only mode. You can do that too. Oh yeah. True. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I got for this week. That's nice. I'm trying to come, yeah. I'm trying to come in under an hour here. We're almost, we're, we're right there. Yeah, we're almost at an hour. What can, are we, like 50, can, 55 minutes? Right 50, 58 minutes and a half. Can, do you have a minute oh. and a half to fill time with? <laughs> well, I got annihilated by mosquitoes. Oh, yeah. Uh, show, show everybody. This weekend. Uh, oh, uh, audio God. listeners will not be able to see, but Dari has yeah, been devoured. I don't know if you're going you're to be able to tell like all the, the massive swelling here come like these two arms dude compared. that's wild are you allergic yeah. do you have an additional allergic not, reaction not like not this bad like on my i i don't even get bitten on my arms usually it's usually my legs but yeah they went straight for my arms and my neck and my arm it actually has i counted i have 12 bites on my arm like from <laughs> and there's a massive one on my hand yeah. i don't know if you can see that huge i do i see the lump, lump there too yeah see this like, is my move hand, i, I hike yeah. i hike with my dog and she takes all the heat 
she, she, I did the I did this with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's a good place to leave this off. <laughs> <laughs> this is my make. <laughs> uh, thank you. This has been Nick and Dara for uh, what you play and uh, watch us on YouTube and listen to this on Spotify. We have no sponsors because why would we? All right, have a good one. Eventually, thank yeah. you. See you later. Talk to next you later. week. Bye bye. Bye bye. And I pause for a moment because this gets cut off. Okay, bye. <laughs>